Hey guys, Sandro here from Carcraft Auto Detailing in Melbourne. Today's video is one I've been promising to do for a while now, and also on a product I tend to get a lot of questions and messages about, which is Auto Gleam's high definition wax. If there's one product that Auto Gleam makes that truly represents what the company is capable of, it is in my eyes high definition wax. This is a wax that was released a good 7 or 8 years ago and one that I personally first tried quite a few years back. And after getting hold of some more recently, I'll be the first one to admit that I really needed reminding on what a fantastic product it really is. Overall, this isn't what most of us would consider to be a cheap product as it does sit a little higher price wise than most waxes out there. But what I try and explain in many of my videos is that price and value are two very different things. And with high definition wax, you're really getting a whole lot of product in the way of how this wax performs, looks, protects and lasts on your car's paint. I've discussed car wax's sealants in many past videos, so I won't go into too much detail here. But overall, waxes have evolved quite dramatically in the last 10 to 20 years. Once upon a time, they were predominantly all natural based products containing bees and canoomba wax with natural oil extracts. But with the introduction of paint sealants, we began to experience that these more synthetic sealants were far more durable and resistant to the elements compared to your wax. However, many car enthusiasts still continue to use natural wax over synthetic sealants, mainly for the fact that they prefer the glow and depth that a wax leaves on the paint as opposed to the slicker and wetter look that is generally found with sealants. Now although natural waxes are still made, you'll find that your more hybrid waxes, such as Auto Gleam's high definition wax, are becoming the standard of what we expect and desire in a wax. This is a wax that retains its beautiful natural glow and increased depth when it's applied to your car's paint, yet it adopts the polymer technology found in most sealants today to also provide a longer lasting and superior protection to your vehicle's paint. So in essence, you get the best of both worlds in the appearance and durability of high definition wax. When it comes to applying it to your car's paint, it really couldn't be more simple. You just firstly need to ensure that the vehicle's paint is clean and bare. Now once again, I have discussed and demonstrated how to prepare your car's paint for applying a wax or sealant in many past videos, so I'll just briefly cover it here. But essentially, you begin with a thorough wash of the vehicle using a car detergent with no wax or polymers in it, as they will prevent the wax from effectively bonding to the paint. And if the paint requires it, you should then use iron and tar removal chemicals to strip off any road or traffic film buildup, and then use a clay bar to further pick up and remove more stubborn bonded contaminants. Preparation of the surface is really key if you do want any wax or sealant to both look its best and last for as long as possible. Once the car and paint is completely clean or decontaminated as it's known, make sure it's thoroughly dry and cool to the touch before you begin. Then apply a nice thin layer to the provided foam applicator by just rubbing it into the wax as this will begin to soften the product with that friction which is exactly what you want in order to make any paste wax apply much easier and safer. I'll also add that the Auto Gleam foam applicators do stiffen up once they dry out, but running some water over them and wringing them out thoroughly will address that issue and get them ready for applying the wax. Now when it comes to applying it to the paint, you can certainly use circular motions, just as Mr. Miyagi taught Daniel-san, but I do generally prefer to use straight vertical and horizontal overlapping lines. And if you're the daring type that really likes to connect and spend quality time with your car, 
try applying it to your fingertips and massaging it into the paint. You can also use a machine polisher with a wax application pad if that's your preference. In any case, the real aim here is to ensure that you have applied a completely even coat without missing any areas or leaving gaps. Really important as well is to use only the bare minimum of wax. If you really slap it on heavily, you'll most likely be struggling to remove it. And what's more, the paint will only allow a very thin layer to actually bond to it. So any more wax you apply will simply be wasted. You'll know when it's time to apply a little more as your applicator will start to become grippy and not gliding over the paint quite as easily, which is an indication that you need to rub some more wax back onto the foam applicator. Try not to work a whole large panel at once, but rather small sections at a time, slowly working your way from a top to bottom pattern around the vehicle. Not all waxes are the same in relation to how long you should wait before buffing off the excess residue. Autogleam recommends a 10 minute time frame for high definition wax, which means you could apply it to about a third of the car at a time, depending on how fast you work, and then wipe it off with the provided microfiber cloth. I'll also add that waxes are temperature and climate sensitive. So you may find that on a really hot dry day, you will be better off wiping it down after about five minutes Whereas on a cold, wet day, you'll have greater results letting it sit for closer to 15 minutes. As far as the wipe off goes, be sure to be gentle, wiping off small sections again and turning your cloth frequently. But in comparison to just about any other wax on the market, you'll find this product to have one of the easiest and most user friendly wipe off experiences. That is, as long as you do use minimal product, work in the shade and don't allow it to sit for too long. Once you're done allowing high definition wax or really any wax or sealant a good 24 hours to further bond and cure without getting wet is a great habit to get into that should further increase its durability. And if it's a nice sunny day outside, pull the car out and let it soak up those rays, which will speed up the curing process. All in all, we're spoiled for choice when it comes to waxes these days, which is nice but also sometimes daunting in knowing which one we should buy. Overall, for me, there are entry level waxes that do still certainly work. Then there's your more mid range waxes that honestly is where high definition wax sits. And further up on the scale are the premium waxes that can cost well into the hundreds and even thousands of dollars. Now, I couldn't even begin to count how many waxes I've tried in the last 20 years or so. But what I do remember is the select few that have really left a positive impression on me and do have me going back to them time and time again. High definition wax is a mid price wax that can compete with so many waxes out there that are more than twice its price. The truth is that quality products overall are more expensive to produce. But another truth is that certain brands simply escalate that price to create a certain perception of quality that is based on that higher cost. 
So in other words, they would have you believe that just because it costs more, it must be better. In the end, results are what matter. And I must say that after waxing my car with high definition wax, I was a little taken back and really surprised at how fantastic it looked. AutoGleam claims it lasts approximately 50 washes based on conditions, which I guess works out to a year if you wash your car weekly. Now, although I'm sure it's technically possible to achieve that, I will say that 9 times out of 10, the stated claims of durability of any wax or sealant on the market are grossly exaggerated if they're applied to real world conditions. But compared to the majority of waxes out there, both more and less expensive, this is one of the more durable and impressive ones. It's a near impossible thing to say how long a wax will actually last on a particular car, as there's just too many variables to consider and at play. But overall, in my experience, you should see high definition wax last a good 4-6 to six months. I'll also add that this and many other waxes do lose that initial gloss and shine over time. But the real difference with high definition wax is that it still remains and continues to protect your paint after it's lost a little of its luster. Whereas many other waxes simply disappear and diminish providing no protection for your paint once their initial shine is gone. I'll lastly add for the local viewers watching that Super Cheap Auto has it for 25% off at the moment leading up to Christmas, which does add an even more so amazing element of value to this great wax. I'm going to try and do another video soon on another Auto Gleam product that I also have some past history with and is perhaps a slightly misunderstood product, but more on that soon. I really hope you enjoyed and found this video useful. Please like, comment and subscribe to show your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.